This is how to play Ingenue by Tom York on piano, the way he played it on the Jonathan Ross track. Uh, left hand, you're just going to start out on this chord, just the left hand, G, B flat, D. And then in the right hand, you're going to do a fill that goes B flat, A, G, F. Okay, this first chord here, left hand is going to play a D, it's going to jump up to a B flat and an F. Right hand is going to play a B flat and a D. And then a single F. <clears throat> the right hand does a lot of bouncing back and forth uh, in this song. Next chord, just bring your left hand down to a A and an E, and the right hand is going to play an, an A and a C, and then bounce back up to that F you played. So it's Next chord, left hand plays a, an F and a C, and your right hand just stays right where it is, and you just play that uh, A, and the, A and the C again. Keep your left hand on an F and a C, right hand's going to play an A. And then add a, a C. Next chord, bring your left hand down to a C and a G. Right hand, just move your thumb from the A down to the G and play it with an E. And in your right hand, just play a G and a D. So it's. The last chord for this part is going to be the same one that you started out on in the left hand, the G, B flat, and D. On the right hand, just play a G and a B flat. Add that little fill. And you can start over. Seeds of the dandelion blow away. And that part goes, you should end up on. And for seeds of the dandelion. Uh, that in, in your left hand, you're going to drop it down to a D and an A. Right hand, you're going to play an F and an A. And then bounce up to a D. Next chord, move all these fingers down one white key. Your left hand's gonna play a C and then an, and a G. Right hand's gonna play an E and a G. Then bounce up to that D again. So next chord, left hand, you're dropping it down to a D flat and an F. Right hand's gonna play a D and an F. Now there's a little fill here. to play, uh, there's a few ways you can do it. There's D, B flat, D, A. So, or if you want, you can play this fill. You can play those notes down here. So it's either or, and then you play this chord again. G and a D. Right hand's gonna play B flat and a D. And then a little fill here, just play two D's in the right hand. And you can start over. C chord in your left hand, that's a C, a 
G, and right hand's a C, E, G. And just bring your left hand down to the G and the D again. And add the little fill. So it sounds like... very similar to uh, Seeds of the Dandelion. Actually, that's how it starts. You just play that part that I just showed you. You play that a few times, and then the last time you play it, change the last chord to this. And that's going to be the beginning of the ending of the song, which is slightly different. <clears throat> and that's a B in the left hand with a G, or with an A, sorry. Right hand's going to be a D, F, A. And then immediately you're going to jump up and play this little fill. And that's a A, F, E, D. of the song, this is what you're going to play. Come down, come back down to this chord that we just, just played, this, uh, I think it's a B minor, but you're just going to play these two notes in the right hand, and then bounce up to the A, so it's, next chord, bring up all your fingers down one white key like we did before, and play a C and an and a G in the left hand. Right hand is going to play C and an E. And then bounce back up to the A. Kind of the same pattern that we did before. Next chord. Left hand is a B flat and an F. Right hand is a B flat, B, E, F. So it's same fill you played up here, the new one, the new fill, but play that down here. Play this chord again. Next chord is a A and an E. Right hand is an A, C, E. So what we have so far? at the end. The next chord, you're going to bring your left hand all the way down to a low D and an A. And your right hand is just going to move a little bit up to an A, D, F. So, again, what we have so far... same thing that we just played up here, only you're going to start it down on these, on an octave lower. Does that make sense? Up here you're playing it, playing the exact same thing when you first start it. Except you're playing it down here. So, so uh, all, all together this is what we had. down here. Then come up and play the new fill all the way up here. <clears throat> I'm 
play the rest of it at this octave. And you can bounce back and forth at this part too. B flat and D. Then down like we did before to A and an, a and an E. And in the right hand, A, C, and an F. explain that well. Here, so here's how it all sounds together. Uh, Let me know.